Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to build our homepage. But first, let me just show you something. We don't want to have in here all this sensitive information like our username and password of the database and this host. So I'm just going to create in here something called a file called .env for the, our envir environment um, variables that we want to protect. So in here, outside of everything, I'm going to create a new file with this .env. ENV. Okay, this is where we're going to create all our um, sensitive uh, passwords and so on. So on my app.js on the top, I'm going to just import something. I'm going to do a const dot env. If you guys remember, we installed this on the first video. So const dot env is going to be equals to require. So require dot env. And now, so now that I got this .env, I need in here to, uh, just before everything, I'm just going to do a dot .env, okay, dot .config. And basically, in here, what I'm going to do is tell this extension .env that we just installed, where is the file that has all these variables that we want? So I'm going to go in here, .env config. Inside, I'm going to put an object and I'm going to put in here the path. Okay, the path is going to be, okay, make sure that you put two single quotes. I'm going to put dot .slash. Dot .slash, it means that we are writing this code in our app.js and we are going to look on the same level of directory. So it should be somewhere around our app.js that you guys can see here on the left side. So it's going to be anywhere. That's why I'm going to put dot .slash and it's going to be the file called uh, .env. Okay. If you guys want, you can call it anything that you want uh, as long as it has the extension of .env. You could call it passwords.env, config.env, anything. But I'm just going to put .env. Okay, now that we, um, that we have this in here, we can actually start going into our .env and put uh, our sensitive information. So in here, I'm going to put something like, okay, database equals to Node.js login. Okay. All right, guys, in here, you don't put any single quotes around, you don't put it and you don't put any semicolon in the end, make sure that you don't put so it should be exactly like this. Okay, Node.js dash login. Okay, this is the name of our database. I called it database in here, but you guys can give it any name that you want. Okay, let's go into our app.js. Now, instead of having in here on the database, Node.js login, I can just put process.env, oops, process.env dot database. This is the variable that is inside of our dot env. Okay, so let's do exactly the same thing for the host, for the user and for the password. Okay. So in here, I'm going to create another one. So database underscore host, for example, is going to be local host. Okay, I'm going to put database underscore user is going to be root and database. Oops. I'm going to put database underscore um, password is going to be equals to nothing. I'm not going to put nothing in there because it's empty. Okay. So we defined all these variables. I'm going to go back into my app.js. Now I can replace all of these with process.env.host. It was the name. Let me see. Uh, I put database host. Okay. Let me copy this. So database host. Now it's going to be the same thing for the user and for the password. So for the user it's going to be database user and in here it's going to be database password. Okay. 
if everything that you guys did is correct, you should still see a MySQL connected down here on the terminal. Look, I'm pressing save. The server is just restarting and everything is still fine. Okay, so now that we got this, um, this is all good. Let's just create our first, um, our homepage. So uh, let me just go in here. Let me just open this. If you guys remember, we installed a dependency called HPS for handlebars. That's our template engine that we're going to use. So I'm going to put in here app.set. Okay. And in here, what I want to set is the view engine. Okay. So you need to tell Node.js what kind of view engine, what kind of view engine you want to use to, to show all your HTML. So I'm going to use the HPS that we just installed. So app.set view engine, and I'm going to set HPS. This is the, the templates that we're going to use. And I'm going to show you in a second, how do they work? Okay. So we got this. Now, if you want to create something, okay, let's go in here on our folders. Your folder needs to be with the name of views. Okay. Views. This is the default name that handlebars uses. Okay. And inside, I'm going to create a file called index.hps. Okay. This is the extension of the handlebars files. So index.hps. This is going to be my home page. Now, in here, I'm going to do HTML5. Okay. I'm going to do an HTML5 just to start with these templates. But there's something else in here in our app.js that I want to set. Uh, so in here, I want to set a couple of things. So the first thing that I want to set is I'm going to put in here, a uh, const public directory. Okay. So const public directory. So your public directory is going to be where you're going to put files like, uh, uh, any CSS or any JavaScript for the front end that you might want to use. So where is this going to be? It's going to be in path dot join. Okay. So when you use this variable of path, you actually need to import this because this is, um, a part of the Node.js. So you need to go in here on the top. Okay. You need to do a const path equals to require. Okay. Path. This comes out um, from default uh, with Node.js. So you don't need to install it. Okay. This path. So let's scroll down again where, okay. Const public directory equals to path.join. And path.join takes two parameters. The first one is going to be in here, for example, the underscore. Look at these guys. Some of you already make these kind of mistakes. You need to put one time underscore, two times underscore. Okay. It's not one time, but two. Their name. Okay. So this is a variable from Node.js that gives you access to the current, um, to the current directory where you are. I'm just going to do in here a console.log, console.log of underscore, underscore their name. Okay. So if I save my file, look, can you guys see in here on the terminal? D courses node MySQL. So it's giving you exactly the directory of your file where you are at the moment. So it's giving you the directory of the file where, of the folder where your file is. And I want to join these with what? Okay. I want to join these with a dot slash. Remember guys, we use the dot slash to go on the same level of the app.js. And then I want to go inside of the folder called public. Okay. So this folder public does not exist. So we will create it now. So I'm going to go in here and do public. And inside of this public, I'm going to create a new file style.css. Call it anything that you guys want. I'm going to do in here background. Okay. I'm going to put body. Okay. I'm going to put body 
background color of orange. This is just to make sure that this will work after. Okay, so, um, okay, we got all of this set up. Now, going back to the app.js, let me get rid of this console.log. Okay. So after you define where is your public directory to use all your CSS or any JavaScript that you want, you need to make sure that Express, okay, your server is actually using this public directory. So I'm going to put in here app.use. And now I'm going to do express.static, okay, to grab all our static files like the CSS or any JavaScript that you need. And you need to put inside of here, inside of this express.static, the public directory that you just created before. Okay, so now if all of this is fine, uh, let's go inside of our views, index.hbs. On the top, okay, I'm going to link, okay, I'm going to press link. There is going to be this drop down. I'm going to click in here where it says CSS. And make sure that you put in here a forward slash in the beginning. This forward slash in the beginning, it means that it's going to look inside of the public folder for some file called style.css. So this should be all fine. Now, I'm just going to put in here for now a h1 saying, for example, a home page. So if I go into my browser, I'm going to go into my localhost 5001 and I refresh, nothing happens. Why nothing happens? I don't see nothing on my home page. Because you need to go into your app.js, okay, in here, where it says app.get. This time, you don't want to do a res.send. You don't want to send a response into the browser with this message. What you actually want to do is, I'm just going to copy... Uh, co comment this code out. I'm going to do a res dot render and you do a res dot render of forward slash. Okay. So when you do this, this forward slash, um, you want uh, not not forward slash. Sorry. You do a res dot render. You want to render what file? you want to render the file of index.hps, okay? So when you go onto the browser to forward slash, which is your home page, you want to render the index.hps file. So you put in here index. You don't need to put the .hps. You don't need to put, so just delete it. Okay. So let me just go back into my views, index.hps. And I'm just going to put in here uh, handlebars, handlebars homepage, just to make sure that this is actually from the handlebars that we can see it. Save the file, go into the homepage in here. And now if you refresh a couple of times, you can see handlebars homepage and you can see also the styles that is working fine. Okay. so. Now that uh, we got this, basically we can just create our home page like, like I showed you in here. So let me just go in here. Look, this is how our home page is going to look like. All right, guys. So we already started this. Now in the next video, we should really be able to finish the home page. We got everything set up now. It's just creating some HTML and CSS and we should be all good. So I'll see you in the next video.